Hi everybody, we're back. So some of you guys might have tuned in. Um, we were just out walking. We just got back from a busy day, sorting different things out, heading to the post office, dropping some of the store orders off um, at the post office so that they're mailed out to you guys. Um, and we got back just as it got dark. We had to take the bean out, so we went for a walk. And today is the Great Garden Camp Out. So that's the reason why I'm doing this live stream. Unfortunately, around me, there is no tent and I'm not outside. <laughs> I have um, a very important conversation I feel to have with you today. Um, I know some of you guys are going to be camping out and my head is very all over the place. So um, I want to try and structure this. I expect Anna will drop in in a bit. She's making tea. She's always good, good on the tea front. <laughs> um, but it's, there's just some things I really want to, to chat about that this event has really brought up. But first of all, what is this event? So earlier, I just forget earlier happened if you tuned into that live session whilst you were walking, just so all over the place. And I think if you've seen some of the live sessions recently, you might have felt that, like usually I'm very, because I am, like, I mean, pretty much every week, like, I mean, and I have a little bit of a laugh about how scatting my brain is, like I go and do something and then, I just, I, like I'm always doing like 20 things at once and it usually means that nothing really gets done properly or it takes a while till things get done um and even now look I'm struggling to, <laughs> to keep to the point um why was I telling you this I was telling you this because ah the live session I just did earlier was very all over the place and that's because I'm feeling very all over the place um and I just had a really good conversation with Anna and I've been having a lot of thoughts over the last couple of weeks just some podcasts that have really brought up a lot of things for me. Um, I can tell you, I'm probably gonna cry because the tears are right right here right now. <laughs> um, but um, that's fine, it's fine to, to be vulnerable. Um, so essentially I'm doing this live session, today's the Great Garden Camp Out. So I know that since since the first lockdown, so since March this year, um, I've had a lot of new new folk following Wild. So welcome, first of all, if if this is, is a new thing for you. So just to give you a little lowdown of the whole Wild scene, Wild itself is, I established Wild in 2016. It came off the back of sharing a little bit about my mental health journey and how getting outside helped me to manage my mental health. When I say me mental health, I mean suicidal ideation, I mean self-harm, I mean chronic depression, um, personality disorders, dissociation. There's there's a there's a whole myriad of fun things in there. I'm not one for the diagnoses. Yes, I have a few, but that's really not what I'm ever trying to get at. I'm trying to get at the fact that we all have mental health and we all have to stay on top of our mental health and getting outside can be a really wonderful way to keep ourselves a little bit more level-headed if that makes any sense. So I set up Wild in 2016 and basically since then I've been making films um, all about different walks, different ways we can get outside, different things we can do to tap into to managing our mental health from different mindfulness activities to focusing our attention on goals whether they're backpacking goals or adventure goals. Um, I'm sort of just discussing things around that. Now, um, the Great Garden Camp Out and basically anything, anything I do with Wild or under the, 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 the banner of Wild is with the aim of, of helping people to get outside for the benefit of mental and physical health. It's about building connections with ourselves because I truly believe that time spent in nature can be an amazing place for reflection, for connection, um, and for inspiration, but also with the natural world, recognizing that we're part of a bit bigger pic picture, recognizing that um, we need nature as much as nature needs us. And that whole circle of life thing, I mean, always good to get a bit of Lion King in there. <laughs> um, so everything I do has that with its heart, with its foundation, it's purely outwards, it's purely about building something sustainable, something that brings people together, something that helps us get stronger, something that helps us be more real and genuine with ourselves and to live more wholehearted. So basically to stay in alignment with the, wild, the values of Wild, which I've created, which I put on the website, that is how I live and everything I want to put into Wild. The Great Garden Camp Out ticks that box, ticks those boxes. <laughs> so as I said earlier, as I've said before, a great garden camp out, I, I, I came up with the idea during the first lockdown we had here in the UK. Um, 
and it was to basically get people out in their gardens in a tent and just have a little bit of fun you know that we don't have to travel to the lake district to scottish highlands to the cornish coastal path i mean they're stunning places but rather than to be crushed by the freedom that's taken away from us we can adapt and overcome and the garden camp out was basically designed to to navigate the restrictions that have been placed on us to help us to still get outside so the idea is just camp out for a night to take some pictures take some video share it on the facebook group connect with other people getting outside and and i ran two of these events the first one was hugely successful in march the second one i did in april hundreds of people taking part really really good live sessions i had fun with with bobby and penny putting up the the tent penny was still with us then that's a sensitive spot to talk about um penny is my westie she passed away on the 19th of june there you go just keep those tears in <laughs> um and uh yeah just had a fire so built the fire the first time was hilarious because the fire would not see a light <laughs> i think i brought out my ukulele or tin whistle josh brought out um his ukulele my brother his sorry guitar my brother we just generally had a good time it was chill you know i just hang out for an hour or two on the live session and you guys were outside in your tents and it was really nice and i had a lot of folk asking are we going to do another great garden camp out i really enjoyed it and and i thought long and hard about it and i was away for a lot of the summer kind of thought i'd just let people crack on with their lives and then this 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 lockdown hit in the UK a few weeks ago and if I'm honest it's really not the same situation as the first lockdown we had like we're not supposed to go camping but everyone's in different tiers and everyone can do different things but I thought you know what why not so I said yes to all the people who are asking me to run another event the trouble was now in hindsight I can see that I have really <laughs> thanks Paul I'll, I'll jump on that but that's super kind so thank you <laughs> um I've said yes one too many times um and the reason why I'm having this I'm doing this live session not in a tent <laughs> is because it's too much um the great garden camp out I completely believe in I, w I wouldn't say yes to something I don't believe in but this year has been so intense for everybody and that includes me and pushing through with wild and what it's really like running wild is is it's 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 a lot um I put my heart into everything I do every single day from the minute I wake up to the moment I go to bed I'm really not a half-hearted person and I struggle when things become half-hearted because that's not me and I really believe that everything I put out into the world has some kind of vibe attached to it and I don't want to put out anything less than the best that I can um I'm not just a youtuber I'm not just I'm not just a youtuber like it's so much more than that um in terms of the films that I'm making and the message I'm putting out there and the stories that I'm trying to tell and um Anna is here with tea so life suddenly got a lot better Thank you for the tea. <laughs> tea for me. Mm. Oh, you went for Highland Cow. Yeah. Highland Nobody Cow. Nobody has done the washing up, so we have to use oh. the little cups. There is no. Are you sure? Yes, one hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> so I haven't done it either. All right. Do you want to shuffle over? You need more space. Yes. Yeah, the whole whole team is. The here. whole fam is here. Whole family is here. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's nice. Sorry. No, please don't be. I wasn't really in the flow anyway. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was talking about, yes. So wild is, is a wholehearted project and, and saying yes to, to the great garden camp out was one of too many yeses I've said in the last couple of months. So I'm super pumped that people are going to be getting out camping today. Um, but I actually have no idea how many people are going to be getting out camping today because over the last few months, I think it's about three months now, everything has just gone quiet. Um, all the numbers have really dropped. And that doesn't bother me so much as the fact that putting in um, putting in all of the, the time and effort to stay consistent with the Monday uploads, to stay consistent with all of the messages that I get, to stay consistent with the social posts, blah de blah de blah You don't need to know the ins and outs of what's actually going on behind the scenes with Wild. But essentially, there is no space, no space <laughs> to take time out 
like to read a book to to do anything and like we might sit and watch a bit of bake off in the evening but it takes us to like 10 11 p.m and anyone who knows me that's beyond my bedtime <laughs> um but the reason why it gets to that is because the days are so full of all of the things and like i said at the beginning there's so many things going on that i'm all over the place and by the end of the day even though i somehow filled the day non-stop um unless i have a migraine which is a very feel frequent like you've thing not done anything. i feel like i've not done anything because I haven't actually crossed anything off because there's so many things that are prying for my attention. And they're things I'm very passionate about, but I can be completely honest with you and say, I've burnt out now. <laughs> like I've really, I'm, I'm, I'm completely on the line of just absolutely just not having any energy left at all. Yeah. Um, and the Great Garden Camp Out in some way, this third event has been a bit of a blessing for me because it's really made me realize that just because people ask for something doesn't mean I have to say yes. And actually, Wild isn't just about me. Wild is a two-way thing. I'm not just a YouTuber. I am the founder of a community. This isn't just a YouTube channel. This is a communal space. This is as much about you guys showing up as it is about me showing up. And if people ask for something, then I expect them to show up for it. I'm very much a person of my word. And it's generally a quality I feel that you know if people say they'll do something to do it <laughs> like it doesn't have to be signed on a piece of paper but it's just it's very hard when I'm being pulled left right and center when I don't have time to be with my family I don't have time to speak to my brother on the phone it sucks like I've been messaging him for three weeks trying to find half an hour where I can actually just talk to him and not be doing editing at the same time, not be tied. Like our house is still full of boxes. And how long have we been here now? A month and a half. Mm. Like I haven't had half a day to just sort some things out. <laughs> and and you can't do that stuff half-hearted because mm. you're it's letting... like you squeeze that in with a cup of tea. No, but because it's processing, you're letting go of an old life to get rid of paperwork, to get rid of ornaments, is, is, is remembering memories and then saying goodbye to them. And... This event, um, realizing my very, very high standards for myself, which I'm, I don't compromise on my standards because they're true for me. Like my standards are to show up with everything that I am. The trouble happens when I don't show up with everything I am because I don't have enough to show up with. And this event has brought that up. I want to be outside with a fire pit with Bobby and Anna in a sleeping bag next to me and having a chat about how cool nature is. <laughs> but have I got, have I had time to get outside, pitch the tent, talk to John, our landlord, so that Even we can get the tent. Exactly. I haven't had time to go to my mom's to get the tent <laughs> that I want to use. Like, so, okay, we have a couple of tents here, but they're not ones I want to use because there's particular things that I want to talk about. Um, so everything this whole week has been exceptionally frantic <laughs> Um, there's so many projects going on. If you saw my last live stream about um, the, on the anti-bullying week, I just gave you a little bit of heads up. So this month, we've just launched the store, which it's not just a case of clicking publish. We now have a store. Like for anyone who runs their own business, you know that you live and breathe your business. There's no, you come home and switch off from it. Your home is your business place. And Anna knows this. She knows that first thing in the morning, like, like I have to stop myself from... So we, basically, I, bed is a no work talk space, essentially, <laughs> because like the last thing at night, we can be talking about what needs doing tomorrow to be done tomorrow. And we're not just checking in on like, how are you feeling? How's your day been? Or, you know, w waking up first thing in the morning. This is what I have to get done. Go, go, go. And it's not even like, how did you sleep? <laughs> hmm. You know, like you lose the most important things. You just shift your priority. Mm -hmm. And that's that is all good because wild is what you want to have as a priority and what yeah. I want to support you in. Mm -hmm. But we do have a life. There is more to our life than wild. And yeah. if Abby and I can't function properly, and I, I mean, I've just the last few weeks, I've obviously felt it all behind the scenes and I've, um, I've, I've tried to keep, her going um but if abby can't function wild well, can't function and we uh, just definitely hit a breaking point and i said this uh, this is not working because i can't carry it i'm not wild if abby's head goes bad then 
why it goes bad, then why it doesn't happen. And we we don't want it. It means too much to both of us. Yeah. Um, and can I just literally highlight whatever your name is, Flicky Flack? Like, can I just say, can you just get off my channel? Like, you're making me angry. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I'm not going to swear publicly here because it's just like it's it's not what I do and that's not part of Wild. But... Uh, it's also just none of your business. Well, no, just the point is, the point is, this year has been rough and, and everyone thinks making YouTube videos is living the dream life. And it, you know how grateful I am to be doing what I do with Wild. It's everything to me. You are everything to me. <laughs> this is I'm everything. And there have been a lot of people this year who have particularly personally attacked me and who ask a lot of personal things that are very unnecessary like that. Um, and it's just, it's horrible. There's there's one chap in particular who, you know, really made a point of highlighting that, you know, I shouldn't be traveling because it's locked down and I'm very mm. disrespectful to the human species. And I'm honestly not going to repeat what people have said. And it's got to the point where for my own sanity and safety, I've blocked people. And I don't want to do that because I want people to have their freedom and their rights. But if people are unnecessarily unkind, there is never ever ever a reason for us to be unkind for each other I just I don't see it I'm not that kind of human and people who come into my space my space which I am opening my hands and arms and and, and my heart to all of you are welcome here you are welcome here you are loved you are accepted just as you are I don't want you to change I don't want you to do anything I just want you to show up completely as you are and when people come in and are unkind, they're rude, they're disrespectful, there is no place for you in this community. And these people have knocked me this year, they've really knocked me, they have stripped me right down to my bones and made me question everything that I'm doing because I put things out into the world to be vulnerable, that also means I'm a vulnerable person. And when people do these things, it can get to me <laughs> after a while. And there's a few folk who have come and gone, come and gone, and they've suddenly being really nice and then they're really unkind again and it's made me very wary and very untrusting mm. of what I'm doing and and like I can't let myself look at my YouTube comments anymore I just can't I can't risk it um I will check when a video goes up just in case you know there's a glitch it happens I want to make sure that everything has gone out properly but the actual comments I cannot look at because it's it's too much um and coming back full circle now to the great garden camp out I've really decided that actually I need to to take a step back and regroup to have some time with myself, to have some time with my family, like physical family, far away family, <laughs> to, to pick up the phone to my brother at university in Leeds, you know, to, to talk to my dad and sort out my phone contract, which is rapidly coming to an end. And I can't think about that, you know, because there's too many things going on. Like it's it's all these important things. And they end up taking the brunt of it. And that's not fair. That's not right. That's not OK. Um, that is not what Wild is. Wild is a safe place. And actually, do you know what? It needs to be safe for me, too. Um, yeah. Because otherwise, like you said, it becomes a performance. And I'm not just a YouTuber. I'm not just here to put out a performance. I'm here to be real. And Anna has rightfully pointed out that that, you know, and for me, I see it as a journey that the beginning of this year, I created a Patreon account and I've loved it. I've loved it so much. I've loved being able to connect with people on a one-to-one -one basis, doing the live sessions, doing the give. It's so fun. And like, I promote it because I love it, but it's really warped that, um, that balance of pre-Patreon. I would pretty much share everything publicly, everything that felt safe, obviously, and then this year, the combination of starting Patreon and having that feel so much safer than the public domain and having in the public domain people just attacking me unnecessarily has really caused me to shut down. And it's, it's put me into this tornado of not really knowing where to say what and feeling like I'm letting you down if you're in a public space. So essentially just following me on YouTube or I'm letting you down because if actually like. Like I said to Anna, like, I don't want to tell them what's going on because I, you know, I didn't tell behind the scenes on Patreon. But the reality is that that's not why I set up Patreon either. <laughs> it's not supposed, it is exclusive in one way, but not. It's just more, it's additional. <laughs> yeah. There's more and there are things that maybe useless. We wouldn't share with everybody because 
not everybody deserves to know everything yeah. about us. We have a private life. And um but but the truth is that one of the values of wild is is being honest as yeah. well. And and this is honest life. It just it doesn't always go up and there are yeah. dips and bumps in the road and and it's quite a right to yeah to just public completely publicly show that mm. as well yeah and it's it's hard because like I now feel especially as a very high functioning put a lot of pressure on myself person you know like I feel like I failed like I don't have the fire I don't have the tent I'm not playing the ukulele singing Yankee Doodle or whatever the song is but <laughs> <laughs> can you sing that song <laughs> Yankee Doodle Yankee Doodle Yankee Doodle I don't know what that song is <laughs> can we make it a song can we make it a song do you like the song yeah. do you like the song <laughs> <laughs> um so I have so many films to edit and my one essential deadline well, I have a lot of deadlines. Just saying that it's like actually there's not just one deadline, I'm is there really? Them. Yeah. <laughs> is 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 meeting that Monday upload. And it's not just that. It's it's the Patreon blogs, it's blah blah blah. It's all the things going on. There's so much going on. But I really need to to think about how I can actually take a step back and I need to let go of this new fear of numbers. This is new and I don't like it. And 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 because because Wild is sort of becoming more of a business in terms of like especially now, you know, the gyms are shut. I'm not personal training. So like, this is that we're living off this, you know, and, and that's the truth. And again, dream life. But the reality is, how do you turn off from that? Because it feels like if you turn off, you you've stepped out of the race. And if you step out of the race, you're never going to win the race. But the, like I was just saying to Anna, there is no race, like you, you can't be in the race. And I've been feeling really, really anxious recently, because so many people during lockdown during this 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 2020 have started making films and the truth is I love it I celebrate it like Abby me who I am is super pumped about it I want to tell everyone how to make all the films and be like yeah this is cool go on this adventure do this but then I get really scared because it's another pressure for me <laughs> because essentially it feels like when I'm in an unhealthy mindset everybody's a competitor mm. and I don't have anything else to put into wild. Like I, I don't right now. Like I have so many ideas, but I can't, I can't do anything with them because I'm still catching up on last year's films, you know? <laughs> um, it takes so much and I need to take a step back. I need to get on top of everything that needs to get to, on top of. And then I need to step back into this with a new sense of passion, a renewed sense of focus, a renewed sense of, just a bit of charge, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but also of strength. Because, like, I've been thinking a lot about... I mean, I sent my, my friend a message, a voice message this morning, saying, like, I'm so on the fence about making films, about how to make YouTube videos. I haven't had this conversation with you there, so we're having no, this we conversation. we haven't even had no. a chance to talk. No, because, <laughs> <laughs> like, personal life also requires things to be talked about, so we're working through all the things at the same time. Also, we're now sleeping in the living room because... <laughs> Our mattress is bent, so everything is going on. <laughs> so anyway, um, is it the living room though? Because it's also living, the dining, um, store, warehouse, uh, everything. It's just a room. <laughs> yeah, every room is we just a room. We sleep in a room, right? Of course. Yeah. Don't make such a big deal out of Sorry. it. <laughs> Sensitive um, one, it's obvious. Look, like, stead now. <laughs> so what was I actually talking about? personal life needs yeah no i knew you'd take that you, you haven't told oh, me yeah, about yeah. the voice message you left oh yeah that, of... thank you good job <laughs> so yeah um i was i sent my friend a voice message this morning because i i come i try and come back to again who i am and my values and i want to help people get outside i want to help you be creative i want to help you feel better i want to help you live more i want to help you access the life that you dream of not feel suffocated by the nine to five to not feel stuck in the mundane to not just be armchair adventurers but to actually get out into the peak district and do a wild camp to do a sunrise mountain hike to do something something that you want to do and how do I do that I have so many ideas on how to do that how to inspire you how to help you I have so many films up and coming that I just need to edit that can hopefully inspire you but I also have other ideas and like I'd love 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 to make a series about how to make films what's my camera gear how do I carry it what are the mistakes I've made um 
How do I get my different shots to run you through the ins and outs of that? But then this flip side of me, this very insecure version of me is like, if I do that, I'm giving away all my secrets and then everyone's going to overtake me because they have more money slash time slash energy slash support slash skills slash blah, de, blah, de, blah. There's always something. Not even the mental health kicking in. That's telling the point. Yeah. Ourselves that they are all better anyway. Yeah. You know, and then losing that fight. Yeah. And so I haven't made those films yet. I mean, all of those reasons are also why I haven't made those films yet because it's just been very intense. But like, I, I, I really... Just on my morning walk this morning, I really just thought I want to make those films. Like I want to just go out for a hike, take my camera kit, bring Anna along. And she just films me talking through the camera kit I use and how I carry it and how I've shifted it all. Um, but like I like I want to put aside that fear because that is not wild. And therefore that's not me, <laughs> you know, and, and that I need a break in order to come back more confident. And I do my affirmations and they make me a little bit confident, <laughs> but I need to carry that through every element of my life because that's who I want to be. And I'm, I don't, I don't want to live any more days half-heartedly. Like I want to take time off wholeheartedly and I want to put time in wholeheartedly. And maybe that's a very high expectation of myself, but that's what I'm going to work towards. So today this is the great garden camp out. Are we camping out? Yeah, we are. Actually, we are. We are camping in a yeah, warehouse. <laughs> She's always on it, man. <laughs> so, actually, it's all about the solution. It's like, it's just, it's just change of perspective, right? Exactly. It's just a big, solid, more permanent tent. <laughs> it's good. And it's, essentially, it's in it's, it's forest. Yeah. Yeah. True. And it's volcanic. We're actually in it. Look, we're in a mountain. <laughs> Also, if you want to stay with our t-shirt, they're just there. <laughs> um, oh, you are so good at pointing out the sad existence. <laughs> well, it's true. People need to know. <laughs> so I know a lot of you guys uh, are saying it's too cold to be outside. That's fine. Um, it's a shame. But like, I know in the next month, I'm definitely going to get out because being in the tent is great. Being outside is fun. And um, Shams has built a den. Just always live in the dream, man. Just come on. Yeah. Love a good den. Can we build a den? Soon? Yeah, maybe we can make maybe it. Maybe we den. can build a den. Yeah. That'll be fun. Bobby likes the dens. Look at looking well, Bo- Bobby Just... likes my my woolly jumper. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> He's like, that thing is warm, I'd stay here. Yeah. <laughs> Just all the warm. <laughs> also, Anna pointed out that in the last session, I couldn't stop stroking the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> <So, yeah. laughs> I didn't know that. I don't know if you noticed, but her arms were constantly going like this. It's a really we soft carpet. We have this like oh you can't no, see. Good. Um a woolly it's rug. Like, it's a it's a proper woolly rug and she's just constantly striking. <laughs> <laughs> you know I like the soft things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not down there. <laughs> uh, I thought it was all about honesty. It is, it's fine. <laughs> I'm I'm sitting here stroking Bobby as well. Is there it's, anything else you feel like you'd like to add to this? Because mm. I know we've we've had a lot of Anna has had to deal with a lot <laughs> from me of <laughs> and myself. Yeah. <laughs> and Bobby. Unfortunately, Bobby is not too uh either. he's not been so, great. He's um it's not it's not it's not, it's not making it any easier. Yeah. After his operation, we um because his cough didn't get any better, we decided to try um having him on steroids, which meant that he had to take another course of antibiotics. And unfortunately, he is not quite in control of his muscles. His bladder muscles. The liquids (laughs) inside. He's just peeing everywhere. Don't Don't be embarrassed. You're a lion. Yeah. Yeah. I gave him a haircut because Abby didn't have time for it. So Again, don't even have time to cut my own dog's hair at the moment. So I don't. Bobby and I, well, I just come back from my walk (laughs) and I'm like, what's going on in here? It's just like hair in a Bobby's just in a box, actually. Like, (laughs) no, he wasn't. I I had him on my lap, but I just collected the hair in In the the box. box, Yeah, we had a couple of accidents and he does look like Simba, (laughs) but then we like the Lion King. Mm. And I have, I have actually won because Abby wanted to make him look more like Bobby, and I said, no, I, I want Simba. Yeah. So we have a lion now, yeah, a baby lion. <laughs> it's apart from the fact he's scared of everything. <laughs> yeah. 
So anyway, um, do I want to say anything else? Um, No, I, yeah, I just, I, I'm really glad I I quickly skipped through some of the, um, through some of the comments and I'm really glad that most of you, um, so understanding, Mm -hmm. um, and I've, yeah, I mean, I've encouraged Abby to just be honest about this and, um, not, not to act and be real and um yeah and i just i i just i hope that it's gonna be easier because yeah the truth is <laughs> bobby's way <laughs> yeah he just scared himself oh. <laughs> and maybe we're getting a little bit <laughs> oh um, yeah definitely oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm layered up yeah, um definitely this year has brought a lot of positive changes and um we don't want anybody i mean we've had comments that that abby is too happy i mean what Mm. how how can you how can't you just be happy for somebody who is struggling so much with life to just be a bit happier how can you make that negative i i don't get it Mm. um but apart from the positive changes this year has been incredibly stressful and having come from where I have gotten to know you there have been so many changes that now have turned negative almost because it just got too much it just it was just all way too much you know there is a lot going on behind the scenes and um and wild has taken off in a certain way with the store with with all sorts of things but it's also everything has changed Mm. how how wild is being run and um the pressure has been just real and it 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 doesn't a creative mind can't work under pressure i fear and and it's not been easy it's not been easy watching it and and watching you kind of not being able to stay true to yourself because you are putting too much pressure on you and you you are being impacted by the negativity that is out there um and by all of the things that need to be done mm. yeah well, it was like the other day isn't it like we had a bit of a sticking point because like I felt really unwell I am susceptible to migraines and I don't always get a full-blown attack, but it's enough to just be like, I need to be in a darkened room for a couple of hours because I otherwise I'm going to vomit. <laughs> um, and I'm just lying there and you just, you come and lie with me. And then like literally, was it even five minutes? I'm mm. like, okay, I need to get on with stuff now because like I just, I cannot turn off my head because it's like the day is slipping by. I need to get on with stuff. Mm. And like, that's that everything to me. Like, I know this is unhealthy right now, you know? And, and yeah, it's it's just basically keep an eye out because there's going to be an update video soon. I'm going to think long and hard about what feels, feels safe for me to do, what changes, see if I can factor in some time out. Like I talk, I really want to launch a podcast publicly in the new year, but I'm not going to sign up to something that I can't meet the, the goals that I set myself. Mm. And I probably want to put one out every couple of weeks that feels achievable, but you know, not even being able to put up a social post about the great garden camp out shows that there's there's not even time for that so how am I going to have time to email potential guests and Mm. you know work all of the how do I upload a podcast I don't know I haven't worked that out yet I haven't had time (laughs) and I want to get it sorted before the new year because I'm not I'm that's not going to happen otherwise you know you don't set up a podcast and then record and upload you know because what if someone says no for a week and then you don't meet that deadline you know so it's just exploring these things and and like as I say we're just having this conversation I know it seems well it is heavy because it feels heavy like Mm. I'm struggling and therefore Anna's struggling um with with the things but generally whenever you come up against the wall it's a good thing um I really believe that I really believe obstacles and mistakes can be real game changers and I'm celebrating that today has been a hard day (laughs) um and and it's been a hard we week. managed to we managed to go shopping so we can actually yeah we have food, food now <laughs> yeah bread <laughs> yeah. yes. 
<laughs> sad. And I have some vine leaves. Why is it sad? Oh, the Tesco one. No, because they're not very. Yeah, they're not Bavarian. Sad. Yeah, you've you've got me there. They win. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but essentially, this is just this is this is good. This is all good because it's giving me a chance to think about. Okay, Wild is not just an on the side hobby anymore. This is off my full time existence. Awesome, seriously awesome. But I want to steer this well. I want to steer it confidently. I want to steer it passionately. I want to steer it in a way that is going to bring change to. And I'm going to be bold here, millions of people. Um, I really, really, really want to help people. And I want to give back to the planet. That That's all I want to do with this life. <laughs> you know, I want to help people get outside and I want us all to contribute and, and give back to the planet, which is helping us. That's it. And how I can do that is to take a step back right now so that I can then get back in the driving seat and we can go somewhere cool. You know, let's go mm-hmm. for a good hike. Let's do this trail properly. Um, you don't set out onto a trail without the intention of, of walking it, you know? Mm. And right now I'm on the trail and I'm just stood here. No, that's a lie. I've sat down on my pack. <laughs> I've eaten all my rations. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm not sure where to resupply. <laughs> you have two weeks to go, but yeah. no food. <laughs> Hashtag no. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I've never ordered a takeaway before. Um, <laughs> the truth is coming out. <laughs> What? You didn't have Bobby in your lap. I'm going to push you over right now. <laughs> Leave me alone. I was sad. <laughs> I'm having a drink. <laughs> Nervous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to publicly spit my tea back into the oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't I do that the other day? Did you? Yeah, I remember you giving me water. <laughs> it just went everywhere. <laughs> all right anyway so, yes so basically this is good <laughs> so there's going to be some changes even if it's just for me behind the scenes <laughs> um but it will come across to you like i do you'll see in some of the there's a lot of videos coming out with for me at least they're quite moving um clips you know of the highs and lows this year but a lot of it has been very robotic. A lot of it has been like, oh man, COVID, year's not going to plan. I need to make that Monday upload. I need to make some films. Oh, I'll just go here and film this. You know, and therefore my heart isn't in it. Like I said at the beginning of the year, I feel like I've just completely fallen out of love of hiking in the UK. Like, huh? <laughs> the UK is awesome. There's so much potential and and I love it. And having this time to go away when we went to Germany and Austria, like the Alps are just like one of my favorite places ever um nothing to do with the brezen not latte macchiato oh, <laughs> oh yeah and there there's uh what do they what do you call them i don't know what you're talking big about. rocks mountains oh, the oh. Alps. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're just getting me more and more these days <laughs> so um Yep, you throw me down. <laughs> <laughs> Joy, uh, right? The naked moose. The Biggest naked. value of wild. You have to laugh every day. Yeah, good. It is, man. We it keeps do. you going. Yeah. Keeps us going. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I was saying. Was I just think I'd rather put videos out less frequently, but more wholeheartedly. You know, things like that that I'm just exploring. I'm just pretty pumped about it. Um, I bounced back, by the way. So, because I was like tears, just like half an hour ago. <laughs> She's like, "Why did I do that live session? Why am I doing it?" Yeah, it 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 was um, yeah, a bit of a breakdown. It's alright though. Sometimes it you is. go to break down to yeah. get back up, right? Exactly. So it's what you say. Yeah, I I oh, I think I should write a book about that. Maybe you should buy it now in Waterstones near you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like it. <laughs> also, I love how when we're nervous, we just go Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time when I seriously considered whether we were more Scottish than what. Yeah, there were definitely there was definitely a period of time where we were just. We, we actually said we have to rein in the accent situation yeah. because it was just like we couldn't talk. So I have to edit the film sometimes to manipulate them a little bit because I'm like, this could seem a bit derogatory to people in Scotland because we're just... But it's from... From the I best mean, place. From, yeah, we just love bottom of our heart. I, yeah. would, I would love you to have a Scottish accent. Can you just work on yours? 
say something else then. I should put kill on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we can we make the device? <laughs> Who wants to see a multi-day hike of Abby wearing a kill? It's so dangerous having you on this. <laughs> if we get this video to five thousand likes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whew. Man, it's the the word, <laughs> and it's gonna be guilty. <laughs> what did you do to get me into your business? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm winning, but I don't feel like it sometimes. <laughs> um, did I throw you again? Yeah. I'm sorry. So, I just as long feel as like it stays down. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Laugh every day. Make it moves. <laughs> we definitely, you know, this is this is just the proof that we need a little bit of lightheartedness because it's been seriously, I mean, I can from just being out there an hour ago, I can feel the shift and it's been it's just been really hard and it's been really hard seeing you just with that constant pressure. Um, so I'm actually happy that we can be a bit silly now. Even yeah. though, even that, I mean, people don't like that we are silly. No, we're far too happy. Yeah, yeah. we are. Far too happy. Go and be miserable again. <laughs> what else? If I go into the office, it's not going to take long. <laughs> yeah, let's actually stay here. This is yeah, like this is our fine. little happy Please place. Please don't leave us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I guess we should wrap this thing up. Yeah, I guess so. It's just oh, Ian. Ian, so Ian. Oh, Ian, come on. It's time to get killed on me. I mean, next time I'm going to get her to the elf, she's going to wear a dandel. A what? Is that the trousers? The very dress. No, you could not pay me enough money to do that. I'll wear the leather trousers. Okay, cool. Yeah. I might have a pair here. What? You didn't tell me this. Did you bring them? <laughs> That's fun. Do you know where they are? Watch this space. <laughs> I want to wear the leather trousers. <laughs> this has got weird. Um, <laughs> that's what happens when we. Ian, it's your fault. Why yeah, didn't yeah, you have a you, Ian. You and your not liking mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know. No, actually, that. Also, by the way, this is an in joke. Um, Ian's one of our Patreons. There's a mushroom trend at the moment in the patreon community so sorry if this is a little bit random <laughs> but right oh look i'm called scottish that was quite cool actually <laughs> oh great it's time to leave you're gonna get my kill on <laughs> i'm just rolling out of here now you can't roll out i, I see me rolling <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, don't leave me and we need you no, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ian. Ian, I actually like you for not liking the mushrooms. Yeah, you guys are the not mushroom liking tribe. That's really short. <laughs> That's short. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll show you that. Bye. <laughs> Be nice, people. Be nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. This is just the best. It's good mm. to have fun. This is, yeah. We haven't actually laughed this much for a while. So thank you guys. <laughs> For offering us up the space for this yeah um for making a fool out of us <laughs> yeah well it's good because i really just i wasn't gonna do this mm. session i was really like we we're just sat in the car i pulled up and i was like i can't do it i can't face it but mm. then i was like but i can't not do it because that's not how i work <laughs> and here we are and this is this has been good yeah. I, I feel a lot lighter and we're gonna have some discussions about what things can look like moving yeah. forward because yeah. the other truth is I don't really know how to not do work <laughs> I don't really know how to take time out and it's not that it necessarily needs to be active like time out but like but I just I just want to pick up a book again you know <laughs> you mm. know and, and just watch I think I've known Abby for half a year with the same book now that's not very that's really not me no. do you know how many books I read last year I don't know 47 probably hmm close actually <laughs> <laughs> Thirty nine. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it was a good guess. It was a really good Ooh. guess. I'm gonna pat myself on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. So, um, anyway, it's gonna be a learning curve, and I can't. Ian, no, no, no. We like hairy legs and they're killed. Why? He wants to shave his legs. This, it's just like Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Does that mean I have to grow like hair? I don't know. <laughs> don't look to see if there's leg hair. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby is just like, thank God my forehead is covered again. Yeah, he had a shaved head. <laughs> All right. I think I've learned something today. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. No, I don't either. Let's wrap this up. Plus, nobody knows whether I'm single or not anyway, and what I like or not like. Or Well, no one except some of us. <laughs> <laughs> She's not single. She's mine. Get your own. <laughs> you can't get me at Asta. <laughs> Asta price. Ding, ding. Actually, I'd rather as littles. I like littles. <laughs> Just littles have a slogan. Every little helps. It is actually Tesco. Oh. <laughs> little it? prices. Is it really? Isn't... Well, why do they have littles in it? It's little. Oh. <laughs> is it? I don't know. Now I'm confused. No, let's not make this a... No, this is not a supermarket advertisement from small, small businesses. Hashtag not sponsored. Yes. Hashtag buy local. <laughs> oh, what? that reminds me of the milk dispenser. In the... Oh, that's fun. Yeah, in yeah. the shop. That was a good time. I don't know. <laughs> Tesco's every little house. <laughs> yeah, it is. Every little house Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing what they've done there. <laughs> that's really good. Uh, that's good. Maybe Lidl should do that. Maybe they should do an advertisement saying every, every little, little helps, helps, but just put it in Tesco's colors. Yeah. And then, man, why are we not going? We should send that to Lidl. We should be an advertisement. We should go into marketing. Yeah. Maybe we should no, market we should. our own company. That is, first. that is everything but us. It's everything but us. True. Well, maybe, maybe we can get all the wild people some discounts on their very nice cashew and date bars no just make us they're good <laughs> <laughs> ian's like milk dispenser <laughs> there's a milk. oh yeah yeah you can um so in in our little um not in our <laughs> little, little but in little. our little <laughs> little uh, um <laughs> local shop they have a milk milk um station where you can take your own glass bottles and um and just get the local farmer's milk which is really nice and we've um on where actually didn't they on the on the Marlerweg in mm. Germany we stopped in Abbey down one and a half liters of milk because that's what you do when you go hiking with this one um so I came back the other day and said we don't you know we we can do this here now but we don't even really so what did you just milk. say I completely blank how much milk did I drink just enough <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally For drink week. milk but as soon as it's longer than actually as soon as I'm hiking it's just like I need the I need the um the the milkiness there you go thanks <laughs> yeah when she goes hiking she wants to have a white beard because it just makes her Feel more Scottish or something. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's um. Let's wrap this up. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Are you, oh yeah. You you did write a rap the other day, right? So <laughs> why don't you wrap this up? <laughs> I'm just gonna get us in trouble. Sorry. <laughs> it's five forty-six in the morning, tossing and turning, chest pressing, still was in my head, reoccurring. Got this vision in my head. <laughs> 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 <It's in laughs> Right, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> Get out, Brazil. Okay, here's one last funny thing to tell you. We um we were walking the other day, and I was talking about how I like the almonds. What was it something about almonds? And I was like, oh, man, imagine if my name was Al Mun. And then we were like, and, and Anna was eating Brazil nuts coated in chocolate. Quite an indulgement, mm-hmm. I do have to say. Bought at the local shop. Exactly. My lo- local, local little mm-hmm. shop. <laughs> and then, uh, anyway. And... and I- um, it's all about the dog. There you go. You can have the dog. Um, and uh, they, and then we were like, oh, what would your, your street name is? Like, Brazile. They call me Brazile. <laughs> and then, like, last night, like, I'm there trying to sleep. She's like, Zile. Zile. I'm just like, will you just go to bed now? <laughs> but she just worked herself into such a state. I don't think I've seen you like that before. Just so amused by yourself. <laughs> Yeah. So that's a little story for you guys. I was just a bit zilly. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> There's the Lion King. They want. I'm sure they want to. The see. Lion King. They can end on Zoom, but he's tired. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Hopefully he'll be better soon. Oh. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Somehow we've talked for 50 minutes. Okay. Um, it's it's been really really good to just run through some things with you. So please keep an eye out for an update video. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to moving forward into this. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this new chapter with you. Um, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Let's get a sustainable balance so that it can keep keep doing the good things and putting yeah. them out there and being so, good to ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. So. On that note, I hope that you will join me and us on this journey. And perhaps this might encourage you to look at your own life and look at where your heart is and see where, <laughs> see where you're living half-hearted rather than whole-hearted and any adjustments you might be able to make to make you feel more comfortable in yourself. Because actually, we've had a lot of conversations about how I truly believe that a lot of mental health can stem from feeling disconnected with ourselves mm-hmm. and from who we viscerally are you know, everybody's different. We're woven together differently. We have different passions, different beliefs, different values. And if we're not in alignment with those things, it can be very hard to thrive as who we are. So don't you dare go anywhere. Well, maybe we're we'll <laughs> not go completely convinced that he's going to yeah. hold his bladder. Oh, bye then. Anna <laughs> is leaving us now. <laughs> um, yes. But basically, that is why I want to open this up. It's it's hard. It's a bit scary. Um, I'm still, you know, I know I might get some messages after this. But it's okay. Um, and I'm 100% in it. And I'm just, as always, coming back to what wild is and opening my arms and inviting you to join me for the journey. It's going to be good. All right, guys. Bob's gone for a wee. <laughs> and Anna's coming back to say bye. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Bye. <laughs> Hi and bye. Hi. Take care, guys. Yeah. We'll Look you. after yourselves. Yeah. We'll see you in the next video. Are you in the next video? I don't know. Maybe. Don't know. I'll, I'll pop in with tea anyway. Always. Always. <laughs> yeah, and I, I want to get back into doing more live sessions as well because I find them quite fun. But ah, oh, cheese. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> I used to it, it's funny. Um Jay. I don't know who just, I don't know what's Jed Molly. Yeah. Um I my mum used to work at the MSC. Grew up not far from there. So, hi. Cool. Yeah. Servus. Servus. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> moin. Moin, moin. Moin, moin. <laughs> it's really hard to leave. Now we're stuck to them. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, See you soon, guys. Enjoy camping out if you do get out enjoy your thoughts if you build a fort enjoy tomorrow enjoy the rest of the evening just enjoy you know get some good stuff in there life can be heavy so make it intentional to have some fun and to laugh until next time are you ready born ready stay Stay wild wild. bye guys (laughs) see ya